Welcome to Supreme Pits Castle, the show where two contestants battle it out for prizes and to see who can storm Supreme Pits Castle. Today we have Izanagi and Mad Chef. And the first round is the Great Wall, the w- round where you have to get over the wall and across the line on the other side to win. Izanagi's making a good start, but Mad Chef's already at the top. Mad Chef down the waterfall. And surely he's going to cross the line first. Mad Chef wins the first round. Izanagi is still nowhere in sight. Can Izanagi complete this stage? Where is he? Here he is. Jump down and he finishes. Next round is the Honeycomb Maze. There's only one way out and lots of ways into the drink. Izanagi is going first. He's doing well. He's going through many various honeycombs now. He's... Oh, he's almost in the drink. Oh, he's re- great recovery. Oh, yes. And Izanagi is through to the next round. Next up we have Mad Chef. Can Mad Chef repeat Izanagi's success? He's going straight down the honeycombs here. He's going through here. Oh, he's... Oh no, he's straight into the drink and... Mad Chef. Oh my god. He has failed. It's time for Pete's Ridiculous Replay. Mad Chef falling into the drink and failing. What a wazzock. Next up we have Gauntlet with Izanagi. So you go over the hurdles, across the gap, onto the ice. No, not into the drink. Across the gap. Let's try that again. Over the hurdles. Across the gap. Across the next gap. Oh, and into the drink again. That is not how you do this, is an Izanagi. Okay, one more try. Over the hurdles. Oh, he's got that bit right. Across the gap. Oh... Oh yeah, avoid the train carts. You don't want to be hit by them. He's avoided one. He's avoided another. Oh, it's into the drink. Ah, oh, and I don't think he's going to make the gauntlet. I think he's given up. Let's see if Man Chef can do any better. Over the hurdles. Can he do better than Izanagi? Yes, he's over the gap. Oh, the train carts. He's past the train carts. Oh, up the steps. Now he's got to get in the train cart and jump off at the bomb. See if he can do it. Oh, and the train cart's gone without him. Time is running out. He's got to get in the train cart and go down the hill. Here he goes. He's out, he's out. Can he make the last little jump? And he's through, Mad Chef. He's beat the gauntlet. And for Pete's ridiculous replay, Izanagi getting past the hurdles, but straight into the drink. What a nub. Now we're on to ice beams. Mad Chef up first. Object of the game is not to do that. It's to jump across all the beams and get to the other end. So here he goes again. Oh, and he's into the drink. Not a very good start from Mad Chef. Third attempt now. Across the beams. Fourth beam, fifth beam, sixth beam, seventh beam. Oh, so close. And Mad Chef... He still hasn't been able to do it. So close. Yet so far. He's trying again. He hasn't given up. Oh, he's onto the last beam and he's made it. Goal! Next up we have Izanagi. Can he fare any better? No. Just no. He can't fare any better. So he, he's trying again. Here he goes. Oh, and he face plants into the side. That's got to hurt. There's teeth in the water now. And he's going to have to go fishing for them after he's done. So he's trying again. Oh, he's almost through and he's done it in three. Izanagi makes it through. For Pete's ridiculous replay, we see Izanagi take a new dental plan with the side of the mud. 
Next up we've got Minecart Downhill, the game where you get pushed down the hill and you have to try and jump out of the minecart onto the white line without going in the water. Exactly not like that. Mad Chef into the drink. Can Izanagi fare better? Here we go. He's down the hill and oh, almost into the drink and both players fail to make it onto the white line. For my ridiculous replay, Mad Chef goes straight downhill and into the drink. Now it's time for final four, the round which is easy enough, you've jumped down the hole, that is a winner. Not a hole which has a skull, like Izanagi just did. So here comes Mad Chef, can he pick a winner? And he can, Mad Chef has picked a winning hole. Now it's time to look back at the Fuse flashback, to see all the scrapes and bruises our contestants picked up today. Some of these are really painful, such as that one. Oh, and that had to hurt as well. All straight, face planted into the ice, into the drink. Oh, and the cart's gone without him. Welcome to the final showdown, the final round of Supreme Repeats Castle. Each person has a full life bar and a sword to battle through waves of enemies to get to the top to get the treasure. They can either work together or fight each other to screw each other up. Mad Chef seems to be taking an early lead. He's battling the spiders, he's killed a zombie, Izanagi looks like he's dead already. I see no action from Izanagi in here. The cameraman is getting fiercely attacked as well. Mad Chef still battling away in there. I still hear Mad Chef in there. I don't see him up here yet. Can he get to the end? Oh, Mad Chef. He's... Oh, he's dead. And... There's no winners this time on Supreme Repeats Castle. But tune in to next time where I'm sure we have a winner.